Today we're going to talk about goals. We all got them. Goals are dreams, aspirations, and desires, which are the object or focus of someone's ambition. Goal setting helps trigger new behaviors, helps guide your focus, and helps you to sustain that momentum in life. Goals also help align your focus and promote a sense of self-mastery. Goal setting is the process of taking active steps to achieve your desired outcomes. Maybe your dream is to own your own landscaping business or become a teacher, musician, or maybe a personal trainer. Each one of these dreams involves setting and reaching small and big goals. Each of these major goals can be broken down into smaller, more obtainable goals that will propel you towards success. Here are 10 goal planning tips to help you succeed. 1. Set both in short and long-term goals. A short-term goal is a goal you can achieve in 12 months or less. For example, take a class, buy a new TV, write my resume. A long-term goal is something you want to do further in the future. Long-term goals require time and planning. They are not something you can do this week or even this year. Long-term goals usually take 12 months or more to achieve. Here are some examples of goals that take several years to achieve. Hmm. Graduate from college, save for retirement, have your own business. Tips for setting long-term goals. Work backwards. Think about what you want to achieve, then plan steps going back to what you can do right now. Create a picture of where you want to be in life 10 years from now. Think about what you need to do it in five years, in one year, in six months. You know, to make it as obtainable as possible. Write down what you need to do each month to achieve that goal. After each monthly goal is achieved, look at your goal and adjust them as needed. Number two, SMART goals. SMART goals is an acronym that stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Relevant, Time-Based. S, Specific, Highly Detailed Statement on What You Want to Accomplish. Use who, what, where, how. M, measurable. How will you demonstrate and evaluate how your goal has been met? A, attainable. The fact that goals have to be attainable is standard advice on the topic of how to set goals. Pretty well everyone knows there's no point in getting a goal that you'll never be able to achieve. All you do is get frustrated and abandon it. Less well known is the fact that goals need to stretch you in some fashion. If a goal isn't engaging, you get bored and abandon it. Choose goals that are obtainable and achievable stretches. R. Relevant. How does your goal align with your objectives? And T. Time based. Set one or more target dates. These are the by when to guide your goal to successful and timely completion including deadlines, frequency, and dates. Number three, commit to your goals. You need to dedicate yourself to accomplish the goal you have chosen. That's why writing your goals down is a common goal-setting tip. It's the first step to committing to achieving your goals. Develop an action plan that clearly outlines your goals and how you intend to achieve them. Motivate yourself with the rags to riches story or a famous quote. Also realize that accomplishing a goal is not an overnight process and that you're going to have to work regularly at transforming your goals into accomplishments. And you have to set aside the time you will need to work on your goal. Number four, write your goals down and put them in a place you can see. Writing down your goals helps create a vision in your mind of how you want to be in the future. You can visually see the goal and understand the difference it will make in your life. When we see something clearly, It creates in how we act as we have clarity and direction. Evaluate your goals. Remember that goal setting is a process. And evaluation is an important part of that process. Don't just settle for a good or bad assessment. Think about what you did, how you did it, and what got you out of it. Whether you successfully accomplished your goal or not, there's always something to be learned. What works or doesn't work for you, whether achieving your goal lived up to your expectations or maybe even why you failed. Extracting these lessons 
will increase your accomplishments even more as you apply them to your future goal setting experience. Number six, recognize and reward yourself when you meet a goal. Internal satisfaction is a great thing, but external rewards can be immensely satisfying too. When you accomplish a goal, you devoted time and effort to your success, so take the time to celebrate your success too. Now one caveat, don't undermine your efforts by choosing an inappropriate reward. Getting into an altercation while intoxicated from celebrating is not an appropriate reward for losing 20 pounds. How about you get a new outfit? Go shopping. I think that would be a more suitable choice. Number seven, separate daily goals from short-term goals and long-term goals. Daily goals can be very inspirational. Something as simple as making sure you make your bed, wash your face, brush your teeth, stay offline one day per week, maybe take a couple minutes to yourself and meditate or listen to my daily affirmation videos. These things can be very impactful to our conscious and unconscious success. And if you have a bad day, At least you're coming home to a bed that's made and ready for you. Number eight, choose goals that are worthwhile. You would think it would go without saying, but lots of people set meaningless goals and then wonder why they don't feel any sense of achievement. Remember that the purpose of goal setting is to move us forward and spur positive change. If a goal doesn't have this motivating transformational quality, don't bother with it. You'll just be disappointed. Deciding to start a business is a worthy, life-changing goal. It can spur you on to investigate business ideas, put together business plans, obtain debt and equity financing, hire employees, and market your products or services. Going back to school for a degree or to learn a trade is a worthy goal. Number nine, make your goal public. Making your goal public is a technique that is really effective for many people. You don't have to join an organization or broadcast your goal on Facebook page to make your goal public. Having an accountability partner or goal buddy, a single person interested in your efforts can be just as effective. Knowing that others are going to be monitoring your results ensures commitment to the goal and is extremely motivating. Last but not least, number 10, don't give up. Once upon a time, there was a guy. He had found gold on his land and he prospered for many years. Until one day, the man couldn't find any more gold. He searched every day, timeless, countless hours, until one day, he gave up and sold the property to someone else. Well, you know what? That very next day, on the cover of the newspaper, was the guy he sold the property to. The new owner found the world's biggest gold nugget. Literally, three feet from where the previous owner gave up and stopped. Maintain that burning desire to win. It's essential to success. Sometimes we're ahead of schedule. Sometimes we're behind schedule. But at least we have a schedule. If that man would have kept looking and kept searching and never gave up, he too could have found that gold nugget. It's okay to make adjustments. Sometimes we have to kick our our butt in gear, and sometimes we have to slow down, stop and smell the roses, but don't give up. Thank you for your time. Please follow me on YouTube at Nicholas Wright Mental Health Matters, Instagram Wright Counseling, or reach out by email below. Be encouraged. You got this.